Hello, how are you guys? Well, today we are going to record this class in order to be the second part of your class of this Saturday, okay? Today is Saturday from June the 20th, okay? So I am sharing this screen, the whiteboard, and today we will need the student book and the workbook. We are going to answer pages 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58, okay? This is the ending part of module, module five, okay, of your workbook. Very good. So I am writing this because then we, when we are in class, then we, we feel lost. Okay, nos perdemos un poco de qué página es, en dónde vamos, qué está haciendo la maestra. This is what we are going to do. Okay. So please set everything in your desk. Preparen todo lo que van a utilizar en su escritorio y comenzamos. Just give me. page 54 of your workbook, but it asks us to complete with the clues we have on the student book. Tenemos página 54 de nuestro workbook, pero tenemos que ir a revisar vocabulario clave de esta lectura, the New York Marathon, in our student book. I have my student book in here. You have it on your own. Let me just take my book, I have it around here. Which is, so sorry for this mess. On your model five, you have page 56 and 57, pages 56 and 57. And you have it in here. I don't know if you are watching me. Are you watching me? Let me check if I am. Is it the same? Can you see me? Very good. So we have this vocabulary in here about the, um, about the pages 56 and 57, okay? If you want to go and check, you can have it in here. So on page 54, en la página 54, we have to read and complete the crossword, okay? Happened. In English, the word happen is sucedió, sucedió. Okay, 
And for the word of the reading, we have the word take place, que quiere decir el lugar donde, tomó lugar, donde fue. Happened and the clues for this answer is to take place. Okay. I don't know if you can see me here. Then we have number two, a running competition. A running competition in English is race, carrera. It is race, carrera. Very good. We have the strength to do something. La energía para hacer algo. La fuerza para hacer algo. In number three, we have energy. Energy. Then we have in number four, something that many people know and like. Algo a, a, la, a lo que muchas personas les gusta o conocen. This word in English, it is synonym of popular. Something that many people know and like is popular. An athlete who runs. Un atleta que corre. The, the meaning or the answer is the runner, el corredor. Okay, very good. Let's check the second part of the exercise we have in here. Read the text in the student book again and answer these questions. We have, when did, when did the first New York City Marathon take place? How many people finished the first race? Why do runners eat pasta, rice, and potatoes before the marathon? What can runners do at water stations? Okay. And let's check. We are on the student book, pages 56 and 57. Nos vamos, por favor, a nuestro student book. Página 56 y 57. 2. Listen and answer. When does the New York City Marathon take place? Then read. The New York City Marathon. The New York City Marathon is an international sporting event, and it takes place on the first Sunday of November every year. The first New York City Marathon took place on September 13th, 1970. 127 people ran around Central Park, but only 55 of them finished the marathon. Today the New York City Marathon is very popular, and about 50,000 runners from all over the world run it. People have to train very hard for the marathon. The race starts on Staten Island and finishes in Central Park in Manhattan. Runners have to run 26.2 miles. Interesting facts. Runners eat pasta, rice, or potatoes on the days before the marathon. These kinds of food give you energy. In 1977, Wesley Paul, an eight-year-old boy, ran the marathon in three hours. Today, you have to be over 18 years old to run the race. On the day of the marathon, there are special water stations on the streets of New York. Runners can get water there. All right. Let's check the questions on your workbook page 54. When did the first New York City Marathon take place? And we have that the first New York City Marathon took place on September 13th in 1970. Okay, please copy down this answer on your book, please, on your word book. 
How many people finished the first race? ¿Cuánta gente terminó esa primer carrera? And we have it immediately in here. We have 127 people ran around Central Park, but only 55, 55 of them finished the marathon. So the answer is 55 people finished the first race. Please copy this down. Okay. Si están copiando sus respuestas, chicos, pueden pausar el video o eh, voy a ir dando yo pues el tiempo necesario para que puedan ir contestando, ¿ok? Para que se sientan más tranquilos, que no se desesperen, pausa el video, contestas y seguimos. Why do runners eat pasta? Rice and potatoes before the marathon. Runners eat pasta, rice, or potatoes on the days before the marathon. These kinds of food give, give you energy. That's the answer. Because these kinds of food give them energy. Este tipo de comida les da energía. Okay. Number four, what can runners do at water stations? On the day of the marathon, there are special water stations on the streets of New York. Runners can get water there. Water stations on estaciones de hidratación, estaciones donde te dan agua. So, what can runners do at water stations? ¿Qué hacen los corredores en las estaciones de agua? Runners can get water at the water stations. Ellos pueden tomar agua, beber agua en las estaciones de hidratación. Okay. Let's continue with the next question. Did you like the facts about New York City Marathon? Why or why not? ¿Te gustaron estos interesantes hechos sobre el maratón de Nueva York? How can we answer? ¿Y cómo podríamos responder? Hello again. I wasn't seeing myself in the screen. No me veía en la pantalla ahorita. Uh, how can we answer? Okay, we need to say that yes, I like it. Me gustaron o no me gustaron. Pos possible answers. Yes, I did. I did like them. Me gustaron. Or no. I didn't like them. No, no me gustaron. Okay, these are possible answers for this question. Let me go back to the question. Did you like the facts about the New York City Marathon? Why or why not? Yes, I like them. No, yes, I did like them. No, I did not like them. Okay. When you want to check some answer, cuando quieran ver alguna respuesta, cuando quieran ver alguna respuesta, pauso el video, reviso, copio y continúo con el video. Okay? Let's check again. It is about this. Okay, very good. Let's just remind, we are working on the workbook pages 54 through 58, okay? That's what we are doing. Okay, let's go back to our book. We finished page 54. En sus libros, chicos, ustedes me van a mandar sus fotos por WhatsApp o por Google Classroom. Es muy, muy importante que pongan su nombre arriba. 
nada más su nombre, Brenda, Ashley, Keira, Evan, Daniel, Diego, ponerlo arriba nada más como una referencia de que son ustedes quienes están haciendo sus trabajos, ¿ok? Next page. We have this. Find the 10 sports, sport words that then label the pictures. Okay, we have one in here. Helmet. Helmet means in eight. Helmet. Okay. Let's try to find another one. We have in here page 55. Hockey pots. Hockey pots. And we have in singular the word hockey puck. Okay, el disco de hockey. Then we have in here, sorry, hockey stick. Hockey stick. Hockey stick is palo de hockey. All right. We have in here another metal. Metal. We have the fourth number, which is metal. Okay, what do we have missing? We have the word race. Race in number 10. The word race. Mm, let's try to find another one we have in here. Racket. Where do we have racket in here? As well as we are answering together, vamos respondiendo juntos. Por favor, vayan contestando su libro en la página 55. Okay, we have racket. Then we have in here, bat. Very easy for us because very similar to the word in Spanish, bat. We have... Some other words to answer. We have in here another word. Paddle. Paddle. Okay, ping pong paddle. La raqueta de ping pong. We have globes. We have globes, which means Globes, very easy. What do we have missing? The last word. What is this? It's una red. In English is net. The net. Okay, so finish copying these words, mark it on your crossword and let's continue. Okay, this is page 55. Read and circle the word that doesn't belong. Hago una pausa y les recuerdo. Si todavía no terminamos de copiar y de encontrar las palabras en la sopa de letras, on the word search, es necesario pausar el video, terminarlo y nos pasamos a este ejercicio. Okay? Read and circle the word that doesn't belong. Vamos a circular la palabra que no corresponda con las otras dos. Tenemos, number one, gym, field, and painting. Gym, gimnasio, field, campo, painting, pintura. ¿Cuál es la palabra que no corresponde? Exactly, it's the word painting, okay? Number two, take place, tomo lugar, helmet, casco, hockey puck, disco de hockey. ¿Cuál es la palabra que no corresponde? 
Yes. And the correct answer is take place. Very good. Number three. We have win, ganar, use, usar, lose, perder, which is the, the word that doesn't belong. ¿Cuál es la palabra que no corresponde? Which is the word that doesn't belong. And the correct answer is use, that doesn't belong. Number four, runner, score, runner, corredor, score, puntajes, painter, pintor. What is the word that doesn't belong? And the correct word is score. Estas son dos personas con ocupaciones diferentes. Runner, corredor, painter, pintor, score, doesn't belong. Okay, we have just finished using the page 55. And please don't forget to put your names on the page. Escriban sus uh, nombres en la página. Let's continue. Page 56, we have in here the review part. Complete with the correct form of the verbs and use the simple past. Let's check and review verbs in simple past. I am sad because my favorite basketball team, the game yesterday, lose, está en forma base, Lost es nuestro verbo en pasado. I am sad because my favorite basketball team lost the game yesterday. Copy that on your book. Copienlo en su cuaderno. Tyler trained every day for six months and he, the swimming competition. It is trained, entrenó, Todos los días durante seis meses. And he won the swimming competition. Train, forma base, pasado, trained. Queen, forma base, pasado, won. This is a question. Remember that we need to use the auxiliary verb did. Did you... Nuestro verbo se queda en forma base, ya que el auxiliar es el que va en pasado. Did you use my tennis racket, Jake? ¿Usaste mi raqueta de tenis, Jake? Okay. Let's continue. Alexander Fleming, the telephone. Él no inventó el teléfono. Usamos el auxiliar didn't. Y mi verbo se queda en forma base. Alexander Fleming didn't invent the telephone. Okay. Very good. Let's continue working. I, uh, I repeat, people, if you haven't finished in copy in this, si no has terminado de copiar, pausa el video. Re, eh, copia bien tus respuestas, que esté correcto, que todo coincida. Escribe el nombre en la página, en la parte de arriba o en la parte de abajo. Y pa, eh, podemos continuar con el video. ¿okay? Cada vez que lo necesitas, pausa tu video, regrésate un poco y sigamos con el hilo de la clase. Read and answer the questions. An amazing sport by Jack Tips. We are going to read this together and we will answer some questions, okay? Just give me a sec. I need to share it with the audio, okay? Let's read together. An Amazing Sport by Jack Tibbs. People all around the world enjoy playing basketball. Basketball is a fast sport and you need two teams to play. Each team can have from one to five players. The players have to throw the ball through a high net or hoop. 
they can get two or three points every time they score. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. A game usually lasts 40 to 50 minutes. Basketball is my favorite sport. I'm on my school basketball team and every Saturday we have a game. Last week we played an important game. I scored the last points and helped us win the game. Okay, people. So let's read again because we are going to have some answers. Let's check the answers, the questions. How many players can you have on a basketball team? ¿Cuántos jugadores debe tener un equipo? How do the players score points? ¿Cómo apuntan o cómo, eh, sí, cómo suben sus puntos? ¿Cómo apuntan los jugadores? How long does the basketball game last? ¿Cuánto dura un juego de básquetbol? And what did Jack do in the last game? ¿Y qué hizo Jack en el último juego? Let's listen again. Basketball is my favorite sport. I'm on my school basketball team and every Saturday we have a game. Last week we played an important game. I scored the last points and helped us win the game. Let's check this again. An Amazing Sport by Jack Tibbs. People all around the world enjoy playing basketball. Basketball is a fast sport and you need two teams to play. Each team can have from one to five players. The players have to throw the ball through a high net or hoop. They can get two or three points every time they score. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. A game usually lasts 40 to 50 minutes. Basketball is my favorite sport. I'm on my school basketball team and every Saturday we have a game. Last week we played an important game. I scored the last points and helped us win the game. Okay, let's continue and check the questions. How many players can you have on a basketball team? Let me put it in the screen again. Yes, I am here. How many players can you have on a basketball team? Each team can have from one to five players. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que si tienes, si estás en tu casa, tienes un balón de básquet, puede ser uno a uno, dos a dos, tres a tres, cuatro a cuatro, cinco a cinco. Por eso dice, each team can have from one to five players, ¿ok? Más de cinco ya es manada. Very good. Answer the question. Escriban su respuesta en el libro. Recuerden, si es muy rápido, pauso el video y sigo contestando. How do players score points? ¿Cómo anotan? The players have to throw the ball through a high net or hoop. Los jugadores tienen que aventar la pelota y pasarla, obviamente, sobre la canasta. Um, que está alta, ¿no? Sobre la canasta alta. Your answer must be the players have to throw the ball through a high net or hoop. Okay? A través de la red o de la canasta. Copy your answers, please. How long does the basketball game last? ¿Cuánto dura un partido de básquet? A game usually lasts 40 to 50 minutes, okay? De 40 a 50 minutos. It usually lasts 40 to 50 minutes. What did Jack do in the last week? I scored the last point and helped us to win the game. Jack anotó los puntos que faltaban para poder ganar ese partido. And the answer is, 
he scored the last point and helped his team win the game, okay? Copy down your answers, guys. And let's continue working. Stop the video if you think it's necessary. Puedes detener el video si crees que es necesario. Okay. Now we are going to choose and select how well we are according to our experience. Esto lo van a evaluar ustedes solos. Es de acuerdo a cómo se sientan en... Eh, a cómo se sientan con lo, los contenidos de la clase. Talk about the past. Si creo que soy bueno hablando en pasado, pues marco las tres estrellitas. Okay. Talk about the sports. Me gustan los deportes, conozco de los deportes, puedo hablar de ellos. No mucho o mucho, mucho. Marco y pinto mis estrellitas. Talk about the equipment I need to play sport. Puedo hablar o no hablar mucho sobre el equipo que necesito para jugar un partido, un juego. I need to play sport. ¿Qué necesito para jugar boli? ¿Qué necesito para jugar básquet? ¿Qué necesito para jugar hockey? Si sé mucho, marco las tres estrellas. Si no sé mucho, marco una estrella, cero estrellas. Talk about sports people invented. Hablar sobre deportes que la gente ha inventado. No mucho. Si sí puedo hablar, no puedo hablar. Marco las estrellas que sean necesarias, ¿ok? Write a blog entry about a past experience. Escribir un comentario sobre una experiencia pasada. Pueden ser unas vacaciones, una ida al cine, algo que hiciste el año pasado, etc. Si puedo hacerlo, marco mis tres estrellas. Si no lo puedo hacer, marco... Cero estrellas o una estrella. Ok. Very good. Let's continue. This is not in your books. Esto no está en sus libros, pero nos puede ayudar mucho para revisar vocabulary and sounds. Let me show you. Look and write the words with a uh or a uh sounds. We have mother, love, and some. Mother, love, and some. Esto, chicos, lo vamos a anotar, por favor, en su cuaderno. Ponemos título sábado 20 de junio. Y copio este ejercicio en mi cuaderno, ¿ok? Pausen su video, vayan por su cuaderno, pónganle el nombre a la hoja, le ponemos la fecha de hoy y copiamos este ejercicio. Mother love some. And the other, the other sound is pot, mom, and hot. Hot, mom, and hot. If you have copied this, we can continue. Si ya copiaron esto, podemos seguir o pueden pausar su video. We have in here listen and match. Listen carefully. Workbook, module five, phonics, two, listen and match. One. Mother. Mother. Two. Hot. Hot. Three. Pot. Pot. Four. Love. Love. 
Okay. So this exercise needs to be on your student book, in your notebook also, okay? Este ejercicio igualmente lo van a anotar, por favor, en su cuaderno y pueden hacer los dibujos o poner la palabra mother, hot, pot, and love, okay? Lo copian y podemos seguir con la siguiente actividad. Okay? We have page 57. Read and write the nationalities I have in here. I am from China. He is Chinese. I am from Peru. She is Peruvian. I am not in the screen. No estoy en la pantalla. Yes, I am here. I am from the USA. She is American. I am from Korea. She is Korean. I am from Mexico. She is Mexican. I am from the UK. He is British. Okay, so don't forget, put the name of your name, put your name on the page. Escribe arriba o abajo tu nombre. And then answer this exercise. Completa el ejercicio. Okay. Si no has terminado de escribirlo, pongo pausa el video y contesto. Next exercise. Read and circle A or B. Tenemos cuatro imágenes en dos conjuntos. Primero es el A, el B. Y de acuerdo a la lectura, tendremos que responder cuál es la respuesta correcta. My name is Juan. I am from Mexico. I love tacos. I love tacos with chicken, tomato, and cheese. I sometimes eat tacos with strawberries, ice cream, and chocolate, too. They are great. Tacos are my favorite food. What's the correct set of pictures? ¿Cuál es el mejor set? Letter A or letter B? And the answer is letter A. Tacos with chicken and cheese and tomato. Tacos with strawberry, ice cream, and chocolate. Very good. Next page and last page, page 58. Página 58, escribimos arriba nuestro nombre o abajo, no importa. Y continuamos. Read and look. Read, look and answer the questions. Is she setting the table? ¿Está poniendo ella la mesa? No, she isn't. No, ella no lo está haciendo. She is cleaning the table. Ella está limpiando la mesa. Is she, is he, él, is he washing the car? The answer is, no, he isn't. No, él no está lavando el auto. He is sailing a boat. Él está manejando un bote. Ok. Are they putting out the fire? Ellos están poniendo, eh, cortando el fuego. The answer is, no, they aren't. No, ellos no están haciendo eso. They are taking out the trash. Ellos están sacando la basura. Okay. Please stop the video if you haven't finished copying this yet. Pongo pausa mi video, termino de anotar lo que estamos revisando y continúo con el siguiente ejercicio. Read, look and answer the questions. How much is the computer mouse? It's 18, right? Son 18. It is 18 dollars. 
How much is the computer mouse? It is $18. How much are the tickets? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos boletos para un juego de básquet? They are, porque es plural, son dos. They are $62. Okay. Copy your answers. If you haven't finished, stop the video here. Pon pausa el video y si terminaste, podemos continuar. Look at Jake's schedule and answer the questions. Jake's schedule is Monday. He has math, science, English, and PEs, which is physical education. PE significa physical education, educación física. Tuesday, we have history, math, music, and PE, physical education. On Wednesday, we have English, IT, which is technology, math, history. Thursday, we have history, math, science, and English. On Friday, we have geography, music, art, and math. Let's check answers. How often does Jack have science? ¿Qué tan seguido a la semana tiene Jake? Science, clase de ciencias. Monday, los lunes. Thursday, los jueves. He has science twice a week. Él tiene la clase de science dos veces a la semana. Okay, copy your answers on your book. How often does Jake have math? ¿Qué tan seguido tiene Jake? Clase de matemáticas. He has it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Todos los días. He has math five times a week. Cinco veces a la semana, which means every day. ¿Qué quiere decir? Todos los días, every day. How often does Jake have geography? ¿Qué tan seguido tiene Jake clase de geografía? He has geography once a week. Solo una vez a la semana. Once. On Friday. Aquí lo tenemos. On Friday. Very good, guys. Okay. So, we have finished with these four pages. Hicimos page 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58. We have five pages. Okay. So, this is going to be your homework. If you have finished it, si tú ya lo terminaste, toma fotos y pide a tu papá o tú enviarlas para poder ir registrando sus avances. Okay? Thank you very much. See you guys on the next class.